So as promised, Sharon Davis uh, is on the phone. Hi there, Sharon. Hello, Phil. How are you on this beautiful sunny day? Certainly, um, th- this sort of weather, love it. <laughs> yeah, it's right. lovely, isn't it? It brings a smile to everybody's face, especially with the torch. I was in Bradford-upon-Avon yesterday and the torch came through town and just the whole town turned out. It was great. And, uh, you're drawing awareness for the Olympics uh, in all sorts of ways, I know. And you've got a special haircut thing to mention Absolutely, as well, haven't you? So yeah. tell us about that. P&G are, are proud sponsors of the Olympic Games and sponsors of Mums and... Um, um, underneath their umbrella becomes Weller Professionals. So what they've decided to do, what Weller's done, is put together a number of Olympic styles just as a, sort of, as a fun way for everybody to just get involved. So I've been trooping around the country, going to lots of different salons, and today I'm in Mark Antony um, with a, a different Olympic hairdos. So today we did one which was like a crown. Very clever. <laughs> um, and last week we had one which was like a flame. Um, and I've had another one which, which looked like waves, as you could you know, imagine in the, in the water. So it's, it's been really good fun. And if you go onto the website, um, wellerprofessionals.co.uk, then you can pick up tips. So if you fancy having your hair like a crown, Phil, there you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, what is an Olympic haircut? And then you went off to explain it. Fantastic. In my case, I've got very little hair, so I probably wouldn't be able to have any of them. But... Um, yeah, so was... you, you might have to have a different sort of crown then. <laughs> I may well do. <laughs> so tell us about the Olympics a bit more. What are you looking forward to then? How much um, are you involved in uh, things this um, time? Well, I, I'm poolside, like I've been now for the last 16 years for the BBC, and London will be my 10th Olympics. So I'm involved in, in all sorts of different ways. Um, I was involved in the bid right from the beginning, seven years ago. And I'm also a British Olympic ambassador, which means that I work with our sponsors to make sure we've got enough money to send the biggest team we've spent in 100 years. Um, And also first-time Olympians and their family and how to sort of deal with the media and the expectations and the pressure that's obviously going to come from a home games. What does it mean to Britain? Um, it means a lot. It's it's huge for us. If I if I tell you, when we started working on the bid, there were more 50-metre pools in Paris than there were in the whole of the UK. And that we've built more 50-metre pools in the last three years than we built in the previous 30. You realise how much difference just to swimming alone bringing the Olympic Games has done to our country. Um, in '96, we had one gold medal in Atlanta. And I think that sport in this country was probably at an all-time low. And after that, we brought in lottery funding, which meant that we can have properly professional athletes that get the funding. Um, our athletes were training like professionals. They just didn't have the financial support that they needed to be full-time athletes. So they were doing it sort of against the system rather than with the system. Whereas now they have great support and our team's in fantastic shape and I can't wait. OK, so wh- where are our major strengths? I mean, what do we really have a good chance of, um, you know, getting this year? Well, all the normal protagonists, obviously. We're going to have rowing success, cycling success, um, track success. I mean, I think that the plan for the BOA, British Olympic Association, is to win more medals across more sports than we've ever done before. And we're looking to try and win 10 medals more than we did four years ago. So that's a tall order. Um, Whether that moves us up the medal tables, I don't know, because the countries that we would have to beat are such vast countries like America and China and Russia. You know, they have such large numbers of people that that's a really tall order when you think how small Great Britain is. But, I mean, success-wise, I'm sure that it will be a very successful game. Historically, every home nation has always done really well. Fantastic. Just remind us where we go for more info on the the special haircuts then for the Olympics. If you go to www.wellerprofessionals.co.uk, you can get all sorts of tips and advice and, and um, great information there. All right. Thank you very much, Sharon Davis, uh, for joining us on uh, Radio Verallum today. Thanks very much, Phil. All right. Cheers Bye-bye. now. Bye.